right, so Steve Horton here at Qualcomm demonstrating current version of a Win Windows RT running on the Snapdragon S4 processor on our liquid tablet reference platform. All right, so this is a tablet that you're going to be giving to your uh, OEMs and manufacturers? Right, so we, we share this tablet in our collaboration with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. uh, we give this to our OEMs as a way of them starting their development and other important ISVs. Uh, and again, this is a reference platform, so we're not too too concerned about final form factors. But we do use this with the uh, development community as well, so that we can also uh, develop uh, applications, Metro-style applications. What you're seeing here is the new Metro UI uh, interface, uh, which is kind of the new, the, the next generation of uh, UI and interface for uh, Windows. And so you can see here, this is Internet Explorer 10. Um, you can cut, you can swipe from the top. We'll bring in the visual tabs. So here's the you know Bing search engine, you know New York Times. You can you can add, you can say I want to start a new tab. And uh, let's see here's here's an interesting site. This is the IE10 um, HTML5 test site. So this is a test site that you can run a whole bunch of series of HTML5 test applications to see how things are going. At any time, you just swipe right, you can hit the start, the new start menu, and that'll take you back to the, the home screen, and you can look at the other various things that you want to do. Can you show us how quickly it can uh, switch through applications? So when you have multiple applications open, a uh, swipe from the right, uh, left side will switch you between applications. So you can see that we've really gotten to a point with uh, Windows RT of just being absolutely fast and fluid, uh, just like any other device. Device as good or better than any other device you see on the market. Cool. So, and is there is, is there any games you can show us while you're, while you're yeah, there, through here? Yeah. <laughs> so so here's here's this this takes a, a, a moment to launch, but this is a full uh, DX. This is Xbox 360 level gaming. Uh, this is a uh, game engine's been ported as well as game software that's full DX compliant. This will show you uh, the kind of gaming you'll see on tablets coming out on ARM devices. And again, the the really unique thing here is you've got full Xbox 360 style gaming and you have it running in a mobile environment so it's very power efficient unlike any other games you've seen before so instead of having to have stuff plugged into the wall you now have this high-level gaming experience available on mobile tablets that have the power profiles that you would expect for kind of smartphone type of applications so you'll see here this is a kind of a gaming scenario Let's see if I can turn up the volume a little bit for you and this is a game, Vendetta Online, is a massive multiplayer game, and of course you have to log in the whole series of people, but you can see all the kind of effects you would expect from smoke and trails and explosions and full 3D immersion, etc. Um, on this type of a platform. Oh, can, can you play? Uh, right now, I'm not online with anybody oh, okay. else. We're not online. But what the inter interesting thing about this is that you're still in Metro, so you right. can go back to the Metro application here, uh, and you can come back to the game. Cool. So there's the game. There's your other Metro tiles. If I if I decided I had to do a calendar, I could do that, mm -hmm. and then I can go. You'll notice that the game is updating real time visually in that top left corner, and I can select it and I can go right back to the game. And this is shipping to OEMs right now. You're working with, with partners to release this currently. Yeah, we're at, we're de absolutely working with all the lead PC OEMs uh, and others on developing uh, commercial solutions on this and platform. When should we expect that on the on the street? Well, Microsoft's going to give you the final uh, say on. When you're going to see that out of it, out of. And I think Stephen Sanofsky just posted a blog just yesterday, giving you, giving the whole community a um, uh, kind of a bead on when that's going to happen. And they're talking about two more months to RTM, and then release shortly thereafter. So I think you're going to see devices here coming pretty soon. All right, thanks so much. Yeah, you bet.